Here we are at Zenith Aircraft Company and we are doing a special project this last couple of days and uh, with me is Chris whose airplane we are building the fuel section for. So Chris, uh, tell us a little bit about this project. Well, I became interested in um, Zenith Aircraft when I found out they were number one located in um, Mexico, Missouri and that they actually had a um, rudder uh, workshop. So I came down, attended the um, uh, workshop, uh, planning on building actually the 650. Right. But at being actually 63 years old and um, a, a pretty large guy, um, I sat in the um, 750 and I was amazed at how comfortable and easy yeah. it was um, to actually get in and out of the aircraft. Um, the 650, I'd have to climb, climb up on the wing and then have to gingerly Get lower back. myself down into it, um, like most um, low-wing aircraft. But with the 750, they said, no, just walk over to the plane, turn around, sit down, and swing your feet up. And it was like, um, I was amazed at the ease of actually getting in and out of the aircraft. All right. All right. Um, being a large individual, um, by large, I mean six foot one, yeah. uh, and, and my son is actually six foot six. Wow. Uh, I decided that um, if when I build it, when I build my stick, I did not, uh, most of the time I have the um, Y, and I said, well, I probably would want to come up with a straight stick, which would allow me to uh, move right and left uh, without hitting the legs. Right, right. And, and they're so accommodating with, hey, yeah, well, this is what you need. This is how we can modify that to um, your needs. And being a seaplane pilot, you know, I wanted to eventually be able to put this thing on floats. And, I mean, it was, I was just amazed at how cooperative everybody is. And being in a local uh, chapter where the members are really enthusiastic about having other people building and helping, um, we got everybody out, and, and a lot a lot of the guys came, and those who didn't come, there were a lot more that wanted to come, but unfortunately we have guys who go down to Florida in the winter time, oh, yeah. Yeah. warmer weather, weather with their planes and stuff like that. And so um, that was a major determining factor for me, and the ease of how the kits go with pre-drilled holes and stuff like that, and you're getting a complete kit, not having to search for parts and materials and stuff like that. Um, the instructions are, are constantly being modified to make it easier for the individual who's going to be building. Mm -hmm. uh, these are all a lot of the determining factors uh, which went into this project. Uh, I've been thinking about building an aircraft for over 30 years and never went into it because every time I would find uh, a reason for not doing it because it was so, you know, well, the plant's too far away, they're not cooperative, um, you're not getting a complete kit, um, and you're going to need special tools and stuff like that. And um, with this aircraft, I found out that you have none of those problems. There's no reason why, if you love flying, that you can't build one of these aircraft. Exactly. And I have no prior building experience or anything like that. I'm not very uh, mechanical, but this is going on. And, and if you join a local chapter, you're going to have other guys in your chapter that's going to want to come out and help build this because they're going to want to go flying with you. <laughs> and it's no fun to have a, a two-seater two airplane and be flying by yourself. That's it's right. It's always that's right. fun to have someone else. And um, there are a lot of rallies and stuff like that. I understand that. Um, Zenith is um, having, and, right. and I'm the type of person that, hey, if it's, if it's going to be a good day to go flying, and once you own your own aircraft, you don't have restrictions. Like in the past, I, I had to rent aircraft right. a lot, and I go out to an airplane, and, and I go on to just the seat, the whole seat collapses on me, <laughs> and stuff like that. And you really can't do nothing because you don't own the aircraft. Right. Just go back and say, hey, it's got a busted seat. And that, well, we all know the aircraft, so you can't go flying. Mm -hmm. And um, if, if flying is an expensive hobby, but if you're going to do it, you might as well do it right. Absolutely. So you've, we've been, this is the second day we're here at the Zenith factory. So we're building the horizontal tail sections on, yes. the, on the CH750 Cruiser uh, model. So. Yesterday we started on, on both the elevator and stabilizer and, and we were a group of what, five or six? 
Five or six teachers. And, yeah. and, and your helpers, uh, kind of like you, you mentioned, you're all from uh, the Jefferson City EA yeah. Chapter 429, yeah. 429, helping out, absolutely. And you're, you're from Jefferson, yeah. Jefferson City, I'm correct? I'm from Jefferson, yeah. Jefferson yeah. City Chapter. I'm actually the Young Eagles coordinator oh, good. for the oh, chapter. Okay. Good. And um, one of the reasons I, I'm really enthusiastic about getting my aircraft completed as soon as possible is because as the Young Eagles coordinator, a lot of times you're dependent on your pilot showing oh, up. Well, absolutely. And um, once I have my aircraft complete, and my wife is also the co-Young um, um, Eagles coordinator. Okay. We work okay. as a team. Yep, yep. And it's, it's much better knowing that, hey, at least I have my aircraft there. <laughs> and if no one else shows up, at least I can take right. the young people. Basically, over the last couple of days, we're building my tail section for my Xenon 750 Cruiser. Uh, I invited the uh, chapter members from 429 uh, to help me out. Um, Dennis has built a 751 in the past, right. and we have um, a lot of a, a ton of knowledge within the chapter and the, um, members who built aircraft. And it's a great activity because you're not constantly once you get your aircraft built, you know um, you don't want those skills to get stale. Right. And so you're um, you want to get in and help someone, and, and then it's, it's a passing it on. You help someone, then they help someone else. Absolutely. And it's passing it on forward, you know, that um, you're constantly um, trying to do that and encourage um, younger people to also participate in the project because um, the chapters do a lot for the young eagles to teach these kids how to fly and stuff like that. But, but you got to remember, a lot of them are uh, coming in at, at eight years old and so on, and they're not going to be private for quite a while, yeah. but if they can get interested in building and uh, helping, um, there's your free labor. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> which which yeah. is a way for them to actually get in and stay interested in, in aviation and to uh, encourage others in the colleges and universities too. We've spoken to our chapter, um, we've actually spoken to um, Lincoln University, and they've shown a lot of interest in possibly coming out to uh, our, our chapter meetings and stuff like that. But chapter meetings cannot be boring. You right, have to have right. activities like this to keep everybody enthusiastic and, 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 and wanting to come out. Um, yeah. This can't be just a, a hangout or a party, um, just a place to eat, because you want to eat, you know, you can go to any old restaurant and, and, and eat and stuff like that there, but yeah. we're, we're building we're, we're an airplane that's... And about building yeah. and, and encouraging others to do it, so keep our airways free for for us for the future. Absolutely, and, and like you mentioned, you guys do an excellent job with the Young Eagles program, but that's, again, that's the flying part of it, yeah. and, and before the flying or after the flying, that's where the young, doing active... Uh, construction on a project that, that really ties it all in together and again where you get kids can can trade a little bit of I'm sure if uh, someone were some some young man were to come out and help you uh, build your airplane uh, you're, you'd be more than willing after the fact to take yeah, take, <laughs> take him take for her flying flight. absolutely right. and then um, it's going to encourage them to more building yeah yeah absolutely uh, yeah. I believe that building you know if you ask me uh, originally uh, about when I first became a pilot, then I would have said, oh yeah, you buy this thing. But now, after having seen this this way, it's the only way, yeah. as far as I'm concerned, to go. Because number one, you're, you're not only building it, to get it the way you want it, right? You're um, custom you're, building your own airplane, right? And you can do your own um, upkeep and annuals yeah, yeah. on it, which is going to save you a lot of money down the road. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're going to get other people interested into it. Mm -hmm. um, young kids can come by and, 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 and start out yeah. doing it and stuff like that. Cause Absolutely. It's like a, a, a car. If you get your own car and you do your own oil changes and stuff like that, over the years, that's saving you a lot of money. A lot but of money. You've got to take it to the shop every yeah. single time. You know, you want uh, an oil change, you know, you're eating up a lot of money. Uh, mechanics is over yeah. six, $60 to $200 an hour. So it's, you know, yeah. nowadays, oh, yeah. especially oh, yeah. when you start talking about aircraft and stuff like that. And then the educational benefits are, um, you know, I'm going to fly this thing a lot better now knowing that, hey, I built this thing and I've had help guys helping me build this, this project, right? I'm going to know the aircraft a lot better. Absolutely. Um, yeah, you can pre-flight an airplane a lot better as a, as a builder, as a manufacturer of your airplane than just as an owner. Absolutely, right. yeah. And, you know, you, you know... Um, 
you know, when you built it, hey, this didn't this didn't look quite right when I built this thing, you know. When I built this, it, you know, this this thing fit in there snugly, and now it's it, it's loose. But if you um, you yeah. know you never built it, and you go out to the aircraft and you, and you check it's a little bit loose, you may not know, hey, that's loose, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're relying on some outside mechanic to uh, to keep your airplane yeah, airworthy. One time um, in New York. Um, the guy came out there and he says, um, you're going to go pre-flight the airplane? Yeah, I said, I always pre-flight my own airplane. He says, well, I pre-flighted it for you already. And I went out there and it had, it had ice in it, in the gas. Yeah. You know, yeah. he pre-flighted it, you know. I mean, that's your life. No, that's that you, exactly you're, it. Uh, yeah. You take, you know, you can't just pull over like the car pull over the side of the road and say, hey, I got uh, I got water in my tank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those things rock. Yeah, yeah. So tell me, Chris. Now that you, we we pretty much you you've got the rudder that you build here at the at the rudder workshop, and now we've done the rest of the horizontal tail sections. What's the next step? My next step is to, um, I'm, I'm leaning towards going towards the fuselage next um, because I figure that once I get the fuselage going, then I can turn I can start to think about my avionics and, and, and engine. And engine. Yeah. yeah, and, yeah. Um, I can start customizing it because I'm going to want. Um, um, gauges plus plus glass yeah. instruments and yeah. stuff like that. Um, as a pilot, I'm, I'm looking at um, when I go flying, you know, in this plane. And I got, you know, my wife told me if I'm going to build anything, it had to have two feet. One for her, one for me, <laughs> right? And so she's got her feet there. And when I go flying in this airplane, I want to be able to enjoy it, right? So I'll put the glass instruments on her side so she can play with the computers and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. I have gauges on my side because that's one of how I learned how to fly yeah, with, yeah. With, with the gauges. And I'll have the gauges on my side so this way I can fly the plane and let her play with her, her toys on her side. So and where where are you going to build it? Are you going to get the EA chapter involved with the rest of it as well? My, my goal is not just to get the EA chapter involved. I'm planning on going to Lincoln University right, right, right. and inviting them to not only just come down to our, um, our, our chapter meetings, but to plan maybe where um, we can maybe build it at um, the whole future lodge at maybe Lincoln University. Or oh yeah, like there you go. You there know, you go. I yeah. really want to get as many people in, involved in awesome. my aircraft as possible for, for, for selfish reasons too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one, it gets done quicker so yeah, that you can yeah. start flying it a lot sooner and, and don't have to depend on people all of the time um, to fly young eagles because um, as a um, member of Civil Air Patrol, which I was, uh, I'm a lieutenant in Civil Air Patrol, um, I used to have to make sure that my cadets got up and got flying and right. stuff like that as a squadron commander to responsibility to, to pass that on to the, to the kids and stuff like that. So I would have to get my kids out and and, and get them into aircraft and stuff like that and flying and, and this is something else. And when I have my airplane up and, and rolling, then I can say, hey, come on, let's go flying. That's, yeah. that's, that's a big part about it too. And when something's wrong, I don't have to go run into a mechanic. I can turn around and, 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 and call Zeno, hey, I'm having this problem with my airplane. And, right. and, and they can say, well, maybe you need to check this, maybe check that. Plus, all of the wealth within the chapter that we have, guys have already built uh, uh, seven, uh, uh, 701, uh, uh, 650s, or, um, right. uh, you know, I can count on them too and say, oh. hey, you know, um, what do you think my problem is, or how do you think I can fix it? Yeah. And, and it's so much, you get so much more enjoyment out of it when you know, hey, I actually had my hand in this. Absolutely, I'm yeah, and then again, with the, with the community and the support structure of the EA chapter and so forth, it just makes it that much easier, and, 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 and again, it adds a social element to, to yes. building and flying your own airplane, doesn't it? And, and like you said, the social part of it is is because a lot of times you want to go someplace, you know, it's no fun going place by yourself. Me and my wife, we're, we're campers, and we have a trailer, yeah. we pull our trailer, and we pull our trailer up to Oshkosh. And um, we've always wanted to go to Oshkosh, and now we've been two years in a row. And, and my wife's now is like, um, she's not a pilot, but now she's saying, oh, I mean, if you're going to have this plane, <laughs> I'm going to learn how to fly it too. <laughs> so now she's even yeah. um, thinking about um, flying, and I have 
uh, five grandchildren that I'm telling my, um, I says, well, you know, this plane's going in my will, and whoever gets the pilot's license, oh, you know, there they, you go. <laughs> they get the plane. Well, you may have yeah. a lot of, a lot of uh, grandkids that are pilots, right. too. Right, <laughs> so, so um, that's one of the things, and if I turn around and I get one going, and, and this is not going to be my uh, only plane that I built. Right, you well. Know, I'm, I'm, starting, I'm starting out with this aircraft, and, and um, my son was saying, well, you need to probably, when you finish building it, sell it. I said, no, I'm going to build it, I'm going to fly it, and then, and then maybe while I'm, while I'm flying it, maybe I'll sell it. Another one. Absolutely, and, oh yeah. yeah. And because, you know, I'm finding, it, you know, when days that you can't go flying, hey, it's a beautiful day to start building something. Right, right, and right. And I told as many friends and stuff, it's yeah. a great social activity, and... Um, more clubs should do this. Absolutely. This, um, take advantage of, of companies like Beta um, who, who are there for you and the aircraft. Yep, yep. I can't say much more. Than that. That's great. Dream great. it, build it, fly, fly it. All right, Chris. That's awesome. Thanks.